Cooking with Rachel Lickster. Wait, that's today? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Do I have the ingredients? Oh no! You get the bag and fumble it, I get the bag and flip it and tumble it. Spread out the lot, 300 gas, and the cut with a. Alright, guys, today I'm making my first ever cheeseburger from scratch. I have all the ingredients right here now, but we're missing something. Chef Rage is back. <laughs> Welcome to Cooking with Rage episode 3. It's almost been a year since the last episode, so I need to see at least 20,000 likes in the first 24 hours. You guys think we can do it? I got the best ingredients for this video because it's been so long and guys, I have never made anything with ground beef before. I am making a cheeseburger from scratch and I have no idea what to do with all this meat right here. So wish me luck, we're gonna wing it. Also shout out to Joshua Weissman because I was watching his cooking videos the other night and let's just say this recipe is inspired by him. He is a top of the line chef after all. So of course I had to get the best ingredients for this video. We got bacon, we have an egg, garlic powder, salt and pepper, we have a tomato, onion, garlic, we have butter. I've never used butter to cook before, but we're gonna try it today. We have ground beef, 93%. I don't know what that means to be honest. I couldn't find iceberg lettuce, so what I'm gonna be using is like chopped lettuce. It's okay though, still lettuce at the end of the day. We have sesame buns. I like the buns when they're big and thick. We have thyme, because we cannot be wasting no time. We got thyme right here. We got uh, pepper jack cheese. This is probably my favorite cheese when I go to Subway and stuff, so we're gonna be using that. But let's just get started. First we got the, all right, first we gotta chop up the onion, the onion, the onion, the onion. First things first, we need big round slices of this onion. Oh, no, 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 no. The juices are starting to come out. I just hope I don't cry. So I found this life hack where you put like a damp piece of, uh, okay, before I actually start crying, I'm gonna put this down. Whew. Whew. Okay, no tears, no tears. We're chilling, we're chilling. Okay, guys, I'm starting to cry. <laughs> So we have a nice big slice of onion right here. So we're gonna be using this for the burger. Next, we're gonna get three slices of tomato. So we got one. With these three slices of tomato, we're going to lightly salt it. So I saw this at the grocery store and I could not resist. It looked too fancy. Pink Himalayan salt. So I'm gonna go ahead and salt this up a little bit. So for the garlic, we just need two cloves unpeeled and we're gonna leave this to the side for now. This is one pound of ground beef, guys. There's no way I'm fitting this onto one burger. So I'm gonna split this into four parts, call it a quarter pounder. Basically, I'm gonna split it into four parts and then shape it into a patty. Oh no, this, this is so weird. Guys, I've legit never touched ground. Oh, this, oh, why is this all mushy and stuff? It smells weird. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna cook it, it's all good. And then I think all we do now is shape it into a patty. Oh, it feels so weird in my hands. And then we have to season it afterwards. But first we gotta turn it into a patty. Gotta make sure I flatten it so it's a good shape and size. Guys, I have no idea what I'm doing, but we should be good to go. Let's get to seasoning. Okay, so let's add a little, oh, no, 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 no. I said a little bit. I hope I didn't add too much. And we gotta add some Himalayan salt. All right, get a good amount of salt on that because this is gonna be a thick patty. Then some pepper. I love adding a bunch of pepper to my food. Now I'm gonna add some salt to the cutting board. You guys know we gotta add some flavor to the cutting board, but no, really, this is what I'm doing. So now you wanna grab the patty, then you wanna roll it around on the cutting board. Make sure everything is seasoned nicely. I think this is a very well seasoned patty, right guys? So what do I do with all this extra meat you ask? Well, I have enough meat for three more burgers, so I'm gonna go ahead and quickly do that. And then if it's good, then I'll have my neighbors try it or something like that. So 
Surprisingly, I had enough meat for four more burgers. So if I mess up once, we can try again. But guys, I'm super excited for this. So let's go ahead and toast these big fluffy buns. Like look how beautiful this bun is. So I have my stove on like lowish heat. I'm gonna add a little bit, just, yeah, just a tiny bit of uh, oil so it doesn't burn. I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit and then I'm gonna place down my buns. <laughs> And then just move it around a little bit. I gotta do this five times because we're gonna be making five burgers. While we wait for the buns to toast, these are the two things we're gonna be using for the sauce. We got mayo and ketchup. Sheesh, guys, the buns are nicely toasted. Okay, so I'm gonna add a lot of oil this time. I'm gonna turn the heat to high now. There we go. All right, get ready for this. This is very important. So this is how I make my eggs. Look at this. This is how you make the best fried eggs in the world. High heat, a lot of oil, and let's go ahead and drop this egg in there. All right, make sure, oh God, make sure there's no shells. What you wanna do, oh no, 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 okay, okay. What you wanna do is take the oil and baste it on top. Look at this, look at this, guys. You see the egg? You gotta, oh, it's, it's hot, it's hot. You wanna take the oil and keep basting it on top of the egg and it'll, It'll evenly cook on top and you don't need to flip the egg at all. So I like my eggs really yolky. So, oh gosh. So it should be good enough to take out now. It's super crispy on the bottom and it's gonna taste really good, I promise you guys. Before we move on to the burger, let's go ahead and make the sauce. We got the mayo right here. Guys, I'm just winging it to be honest. I don't know like the exact portions and stuff. I don't even know if mayo and ketchup goes together, but from what I've seen, oh no, it's all watery. All right, this should be good enough. I just hope it tastes good, guys. I don't even know if it will. Yeah, it does smell good, I'm not gonna lie. It's meat time, so we have five burgers right here. We're gonna need these garlic pieces right here as well as the thyme. We're finally putting the thyme to use. Once it gets hot, I'm gonna toss these patties into this pan right here. I just hope everything goes well, you guys. This is my first time ever making cheeseburgers. Oh yeah, I should probably have the pepper jack ready too. Let's go ahead and toss this meat patty. Oh gosh, that was dangerous. All right, we're gonna place another one in here as well. Woo! I'm gonna wait for all of these to, uh, to get flipped first before I move on to the next step with the garlic and stuff. So I'm gonna grab this piece of butter. I'm just gonna toss it in the middle. Just like so, let it melt. I'm gonna grab these two garlic cloves, toss them in the middle as well, just like that. Grab a good amount of thyme, throw it on each side, just like so. I don't know what that does. Maybe add some smell to it. I have no idea, but I just hope, you know, it turns out well. One patty is done. I mean, it's not bad, I don't think. Just like that, five burger patties done. I'll, I hope it's cooked. I, I really hope, I, I think it should be cooked. All right, so I'm just gonna put bacon in mine, I think, I don't know. So while we wait for the bacon to cook, let's go ahead and prepare our burgers. So I got the, uh, the buns right here. Let's get our lettuce ready. Let's put this smaller burger in here, it's hot. Okay, so while it's still hot, let's go ahead and put the cheese on top. We got the slice of cheese. It's really thin, so it should melt really properly. Let's not forget the onion rings. Now let's add the tomato. Top it off with some lettuce. Oh no, this is terrible. <laughs> Honestly, I, I forgot to add the sauce to the bottom one, but too much sauce, you know. So you know, you don't you don't want to add too much sauce. Now I think this should be good enough. Okay, the final ingredient is now done. I got the bacon right here. Just gonna lay it on top of the egg just like this. Guys, oh my, I'm gonna get so fat from eating this, but you know what? This is Cooking With Rage, episode three. I really hope you guys enjoyed this one. I don't even know, dude, I was struggling to make this one, but it's my first time trying it. So now we're gonna lay the, the bun with the sauce on top, just like this. And here we have the Rage Elixir. Whoa, this actually, Wait, guys, this actually kind of looks good. I thought I messed up big time, but oh, yo, this is fire. Okay, okay. I really hope this is good, guys. Taste test time. 
It's, if it's not good, I just wasted hours of my life. So we got bacon, egg, onions, tomato, lettuce, pepper jack cheese, and a burger patty. All right, guys, this is one big bite, but let's go ahead and try it. Wait a second. All right, I, you know what? I was actually gonna make a strawberry banana smoothie for this video, but this took way too long. All right, all right, all right. The moment of truth. I just hope I season the meat well. You can barely even see the meat because it turned out so like round, but I hope the sauce is good. All right, here we go. Ready? Three, two, I'm recording, right? Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, and... So far so good, a little bit salty, but there's a lot of like different salty meats and stuff. So I didn't even take a, wait, I didn't even take a bite out of the meat. All right, let, let's try the burger patty. Okay, okay. It's not that super seasoned. I wish I seasoned it more, but it's fire. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Oh my god, that is fire, guys. Oh my god, I wish I seasoned the meat a little bit more, but with everything together, like the saltiness of the bacon and everything, everything just goes together. Oh my goodness, I'm so happy, guys. I'm really out here, guys. I made a few more for my neighbors. We got one, two, three. And one last one right here. Boom, check it out, guys. What would you guys rate this out of 10? I would rate this for my first ever one. I would rate it an eight out of 10, but you guys let me know. I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, there were some things I could have fixed, but you know, let me know. Like I said, 20,000 likes in the first 24 hours and I'll make more episodes. But anyways, I'm about to finish off this giant burger. I just hope you guys enjoy this video. For more episodes, you guys know what to do. But other than that, make sure you guys subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Mm.